All right, we're going to figure out the inverse Laplace transform of s minus 3 over parentheses with s minus 3 inside and then square and then plus 4. And look at, we have the s minus 3 on top and also the s minus 3 in this parentheses, right? We shall use some kind of cosine, isn't it? And let me write it down of what we have right here. First of all, let's take a look of the Laplace transform of cosine of bt. And as we know, this is equal to s on the top over s squared plus b squared, isn't it? However, that's not what we have. We have the s minus 3 and the s minus 3, right? So that means we have to translate this a little bit, or to shift this a little bit in the s world. To do so, instead of just cosine of bt, we will have to multiply this by e to the at, right? And let me write it down right here as well. We know that the Laplace transform of cosine bt will still be this. But if I multiply this with e to the at, instead of just s on the top, it will be s minus a, and then over this s will also be s minus a. All right, and then we put this in the parentheses and square that, and then plus b squared. So as you can see, this is one of the entries on the Laplace table, and this right here matches exactly with that, right? So now I can f finish this up for you guys. We have s minus 3, s minus 3. So that will tell me a is equal to positive 3. Look at this backwards, we must have e to the at, and a is equal to 3. So we have 3t right here. And also, we have to look at b squared, right? We have 4 right here. Look at the 4 as 2 squared. And this 2 will tell you cosine of whatever t, right? So we multiply by cosine of 2t. And that's it. So we use this entry to do that. And now you may be wondering, what if this part, the s minus 3, what if it does not match with this s minus 3 right here, right? So that's what I'm about to show you right now as well. And now let's take a look at this one. What if the top is s plus 10 instead, right? As you can see, this is different than s minus 3 right here. Well, in that case, what can we do? Remember, in order for us to use this right here, we must have the top, the s minus a, match with this parentheses right here, s minus a, right? Remember, you just have to make things happen. So, even though, yes, this is not the same at the moment, make things happen then. I really want to have s minus 3 on the top. So in that case, okay, let's go ahead and just do s minus 3. But I cannot do that unless I add a 3 after that, right? So this is totally okay now. And now I will break down the inverse star plus and also the fractions inside. So as we can see now, this is going to be the inverse star plus. Let's look at s minus 3 on the top as this one right here. So I'll put it down s minus 3, and then let me put down this denominator right here, which is that one, s minus 3, and then square, and then plus. For the 4, let's put it down as 2 square, right? Just like earlier. And let me close this right here, right? And remember, we can do so because the inverse Laplace transform is linear. And next, as you can see, this is 10 plus 3, which is 13. I can put down 13 over this denominator. Well, the 13 on the top is just a constant, so I can take it to the front because Laplace and inverse Laplace, they are both linear, right? So let me just say plus 13 in the front. And remember, s minus 3 plus 13 is, of course, original s plus 10, so I didn't change any value. All right, to continue, Yes, 10 plus 3 is 13. I put it out in the front already. And then we have the inverse dot plus. And now, let me just put it down right here. This is the denominator, s minus 3 squared. And then I will put down plus. Once again, the 4 is 2 squared, right? On the top, technically, I have a 1. So if you would like, you can put it down. And we know how to deal with this already because we did that earlier, which is just this part right here, right? However, if we have a constant on the top, this is a situation that we have to use sine of whatever, right? So let me write it down right here for you guys as a reminder. That the plus of sine bt, as we know, this is equal to b on the top 
over s squared plus b squared, all right? And once again, we have to shift this in the s world. So we have to multiply this by e to the at, right? So let's do e to the at right here. e to the at times sine of bt. This is going to be on the top, still b, over this is going to be s minus a now. And then we square that. And then plus b squared, right? OK, this part, it's almost the same as that. We know that b is equal to 2 right here, which is great. But in order for me to use this, I also must have the 2 on the top, right? So let's go ahead and multiply this top by 2. But be sure to divide the 2 so that they cancel, right? Technically, we didn't change anything. All right. Now, let me just finish this up for you guys. This part, just like earlier, it will be e to the 3t times cosine of 2t, right? And for this part right here, we know this is plus 13 over 2. And this is going to be this right here. e to the 3t again, and then sine of 2t, right? So this is how you take care of the situation if this right here does not match with that. So be sure you make it match. And that's it.